They defeated uh, Samoa A in the uh, third and fourth uh, place playoffs. Of course, uh, Junior Japan, the visitors were first to arrive. Seta Naivaluanga, he's been in fantastic form for the uh, Junior Japan uh, team. Of course, uh, they're captained uh, this afternoon by uh, Sensuin Lee. And they've certainly been a formidable side, very sharp, fast around the park. And of course, they defeated Tonga A46 10 in their opening match before they saw off the challenge from Samoa A76 points to three. And they'll certainly be looking for a win this afternoon. Exciting lineup, of course. That man, Halatoa Vailea, has been key for them, the big number eight, getting five tries in their second round match. And what a play he's been, uh, Sale Sorovaki, former flying Fijian. Well, that's right. You know, uh, Vailea, uh, on the top five scorers list, the top point scorers for this tournament after round two, Halatoa Vailea, Junior Japan, number eight, there you see. Coming in, including the great Wesley Salim, arriving in this morning from the United States. Him, Brad Harris, another technical coach. So, which again? Uh, with Vailea, the junior Japan number eight. There you see the Japanese team warming up. Now we've had everything today sunshine, we've had a bit of rain, we had a bit of lightning and thunder, and now we're back. So clear sky here at ANZ Stadium, Masinati. Of course, Rintaro Maruyama, the fly half, has been key as well. It's a dictated play, and uh, we talk about the pace of this um, Japanese side. It'll certainly be a tussle for uh, the uh, home team. Well, Japan, you know, they, they put on 70 points on Tonga on uh, Tuesday night. You know, they, they probably look like the team to beat today. You see a lot of their supporters earlier on today. Sinati, they had a bit of a promotion of the Tokyo Olympics at the Motor City, where some of our players, stepping off the bus, attended for promotion. Fiji Warriors, of course, um, the um, second team to arrive into the stadium this afternoon. And, of course, they've made six changes to their lineup uh, this afternoon. It's interesting to see the uh, center pairing of Filimoni Sapvo and, of course, Epeli Momo has been great on the wing. Well, that's right. You know, uh, a lot of these players, you know, just on 20 years old, are still 20, a lot under 23, uh, but uh, experience Philemon is over there, uh, getting off that bus. You know, they will really need to lift their game to contain this very powerful uh, junior Japan team. There you see Osewanga straight into the Fijian changing room. You know, Chuta Wainingolo is there who had a game uh, against the, uh, the Barbarians last year in Twickenham. And there you see a lot of our players. You know, most of these players are Sinati just finishing high school or just a year or two out of high school. Set. Naka.
Bola vinaka kanichiwa malo lele and talo falava malo lava. Welcome to the ANZ Stadium here in uh, Suva, Fiji for the final round of the World Rugby Pacific Challenge. It's great to see that the sun has come out after a wee bit of a rain, a thunder and lightning as well that forced a uh, postponement of the earlier match uh, this afternoon where of course uh, Tonga A managed to get the win over Samoa A uh, by 36 points uh, to 10. We're in for the uh, biggest match of the afternoon, of course the grand finale that will see the home side, the Fiji Warriors take on uh, the might of uh, Junior Japan. Of course, both teams have been unbeaten so far. It's great to see the King of Sevens here in the stands uh, watching on with interest um, this big match that we were about to get underway here. Waisele Serevi, of course, part of the crowd that have gathered here at uh, the ANZ um, Stadium. Uh, it's great to see him. Um, just arrived into the country, I'm told, early on uh, this uh, morning. But um, those are conditions here at uh, the ANZ Stadium as we look at the results. Of course, Junior Japan and the Fiji Warriors unbeaten after two rounds of uh, matches. And Tonga A managed uh, to finish third uh, over Samoa, 36 points to 10 in the earlier match uh, this afternoon. And that's how the points table look at the moment with uh, Junior Japan and the Fiji Warriors at uh, tw 10 points apiece. Of course, uh, the match to come will decide who will be the champion in 2020 of the World Rugby Pacific uh, Challenge. Uh, great crowd support here as we welcomed uh, Junior Japan, the first team to arrive into the stadium this afternoon. Setanae Valuanga, he's been in great form, scored a try in the tournament as well. His father, of course, uh, Setaraki Tawake, former flying Fijian, who's um, lived and played in Japan for a number of years has been following his progress uh, well. Of course, Junior Japan have made eight changes coming into this final. They defeated uh, Tonga A, 46 points to 10, and uh, they defeated Samoa A midweek, 76 points to 3. And of course, uh, Vailea, Halatoa Vailea has certainly been the man to watch in this uh, Junior Japan side. Scored five tries in their match midweek when they defeated uh, Samoa A, and of course, the Junior Japan side will be looking for a win here in uh, 2020. Of course, uh, the big forwards and, of course, the back line. Um, Rintaro Maruyama will certainly be key. The fly half for Junior Japan, who will dictate play, no doubt, for this Junior Japan side. It's great to welcome the uh, Japanese um, expatriate community here in Suva Fiji who have really got behind their team to support them here. It's wonderful to see the rise of Japanese rugby. And, of course, we saw them in the World Cup. They finished uh, in the uh, quarterfinals, of course. But um, their huge forwards and very fast uh, back line has certainly made them a force to reckon with at this uh, 2020 World Rugby Pacific uh, Challenge. Junior Japan, of course, will be hoping everything works out for them this afternoon as they chase the title here. Of course, the home team, a lot of support here. Good crowd have gathered um, to support the home team who, of course, have won nine out of the 12 occasions that we've had the World Rugby Pacific uh, Challenge. They won four in a row uh, last week. And, of course, they'll be look, looking for their fifth title um, this afternoon when they take on uh, Junior Japan. And, of course, the home team arrived into the stadium. They defeated um, Samoa A 29-5 in the opening match and uh, also saw off the challenge of Tonga A midweek when they beat them 47 points uh, to nil. They've made six changes to their lineup uh, here. Interesting to see that uh, Filimoni Savoe Epeli Momo will pair up at the centers. Momo has certainly been a standout for this team. As well as the forwards, all, all very young players under 20s uh, also have come through the uh, school's dean's uh, competition. And it's a great opportunity for them to um, really shine at this level. Of course, um, this team has, have a lot of pressure, a lot of expectation on them uh, this afternoon. Of course, uh, they're won the title four years in a row and they're looking for their fifth uh, title this afternoon. They're captained of course by uh, Twindraki Samu Samu Vondre 
their fly half and captain who uh, leads them by example. Of course, a great support here at the ANZ Stadium. As uh, we mentioned earlier, there was a bit of uh, lightning and thunder earlier on, and we had to have um, uh, the game postponed, the uh, Tonga and Samoa match postponed for about half an hour. Uh, but fortunately, we were able to complete that match, and of course, Tonga victors over the uh, Samoa A side. They uh, beat them 36 points to 10. So they finished third in this tournament. Uh, but a lot of excitement building here at the ANZ Stadium as we prepare for the grand finale of the 2020 World Rugby Pacific uh, Challenge as the home side, the Fiji Warriors, take on uh, Junior Japan. The Fiji Warriors, of course, coached uh, by Kele Lewere and assisted by... Um, William Ngandolo, as well as Ifremi Rawanga, all played for the Flying Fijians, lending their expertise as well to a lot of these um, young players coming through the ranks, not only from uh, schools rugby, but also from the under-20 and under-18 uh, programs. As we've seen that the scrums have been a crucial aspect of this uh, tournament. Japan, of course, have been very strong in that area. And um, the back line of this um, Fiji Warriors side, of course, will be key as well this afternoon. As we mentioned, six changes altogether in this uh, Fiji Warriors uh, side. Meli Tuni um, comes back in at uh, prop, replacing uh, Manuel Naviva. And uh, Kitione Salawa moves to, to uh, flanker's berth with uh, Vilive Miramira, who's been great for them in the lineup. We also have uh, Filimoni Savo and Epeli Momo that will pair at centres this afternoon. And Chuta Wainingol, of course, moves to the wing with um, Osea Wanga, who was fantastic midweek in uh, their win, of course. Over Tonga, aid was 47 points to nil. Junior Japan, of course, interesting to see that they've made eight changes to their starting lineup here. will be captained by Lee. And of course, that man in the number six jersey, Vailea, he'll be the man to watch. He's certainly their go-to man, and he's certainly been very strong. Sagara moves back to number eight. Vailea moves to six in this uh, starting lineup. Uh, Kami Mori and Kobayashi are the uh, prop pairing for this uh, junior Japan uh, side. And of course, Maruyama can expect him to dictate play um, this afternoon. Of course, Ali and Hamano pair up at uh, centers and Kawase comes in at uh, fullback for this very strong junior Japan lineup. The Fiji Warriors, of course, they've made six changes. Interesting, as we said earlier, Savo and Momo will pair at center. Chuta moves uh, to the wing for this match. And of course, Mira Mira, who's been very effective for them at the lineup, moves to number six and Salawa to seven. And Tuitumbo has been very strong at number eight. Will um, will certainly be a force for them. Kuruvoli, of course, has been a very impressive at number nine, and of course the team captained by uh, Samu Samu Vondre will uh, start for them at fly half. Awesome support here for the visitors, Junior Japan, throughout this tournament. And as we've said, um, it's a wonderful platform for a lot of the players, particularly here in the Pacific. A chance, uh, a platform for them to showcase their talent. And we've seen plenty of action from the three rounds of the competition. Of course, a lot of players that have really stood out and uh, certainly will be in the radar of the combined Pacific Island coaching panel that are also here watching these matches with interest and will be selecting a combined Pacific Island uh, team. So we're just waiting for the two teams to make their way out onto the ground here. Good support in the stadium here for this final match. Of course, the Fiji Warriors chasing their fifth straight title. Uh, junior Japan have certainly been very strong in this tournament. And what a matchup we have this afternoon.
So we had a bit of rain and lightning and thunder earlier on. And the uh, third and fourth playoff match um, had to be postponed for about half an hour. As organizers were concerned about um, the safety of players out there on the ground. Uh, fortunately, we were able to complete that match and uh, Tonga A victorious on that occasion, defeating uh, Samoa A 36 points to 10. So they finish off the tournament in third place. And that's the trophy that's up for grabs this afternoon. Who will it be in 2020? And the two teams, led by their captains, make their way out here to the ANZ Stadium. Junior Japan, of course, led by um, Lee, the Fiji Warriors, uh, Twin Raki, Samu Samu Vondre. This transition well to fly half. Made his debut last year in the tournament at second 5'8", but he's um, certainly lifted his performance here in 2020 as he leads this Fiji Warriors uh, team. Of course, Japan very strong. Halatoa Vailea, he's been impressive for this junior Japan side. Here he is in your shot. Scored five tries in the match midweek. Uh, we're standing by now for the national anthem for both nations. Brilliant sunshine here at the ANZ Stadium as we prepare for the finals of the World Rugby Pacific Challenge 2020. Defending champions of Fiji Warriors taking on the might of Junior Japan. Both teams unbeaten in uh, two rounds of competition uh, so far. And they will square off for the title here in uh, 2020. Of course, Jordan Way, referee for the match uh, this afternoon as uh, Tuindraki Samu Samu Vonde, the Fiji Warriors um, captain, 
prepares to get this match um, underway. We welcome you in wherever you're joining us from right around the country and right around the world via our live stream. We welcome you in Bulavinaka, Kenichiwa. Brilliant um, conditions here at the ANZ Stadium as we prepare to get off start the finals of uh, the uh, World Rugby Pacific Challenge in Samu Samu Vondri. Just checks with the referee, Jordan Way. And we're off for the final. Some some Vondra kicks it long, well secured there. Why Junior Japan? Maruyawa, good position. Vailea, he's been so strong. As we said, scored five tries in their win over Samoa midweek. So. Junior Japan gaining some good ground here. Fujiwara clears it out to um, Maruyama. Defense coming across quickly there from the Fiji Warriors with Nasaroa. Still there for Maruyama. It's there for Vailea who kicks it downfield. Seeing space there. Osea Wanga waiting for it. The Fiji Warriors fullback. And he sends it up high and long. Kawase was very safe under that high ball. The junior Japan fullback goes through the hands, though. It's a penalty here for the Fiji Warriors. We've just got about one. One minute 15 in this first half. And Japan showing their intent early, just running the ball at this Fiji Warriors side. But this is um, some some of wonder. Let's we'll see if he can just clear this ball out into touch, get some good field position for the Fiji Warriors. It's in fact Kurvoli, Kurvoli who clears it out into touch. He's been very strong for the Fiji Warriors. The nippy half back. He's had a stint in AFL as well as judo. He's part of that um, QVS on the 19 Deans winning team in the school's rugby competition here in Fiji. As they get a throw into the line out here, Vasui Nandi. Again, Mira Mira. It's been so strong in the line out. It's uh, there for some Savo Vondre on the inside for Savo. Gained some good yards there for the Fiji Warriors. Chris Manimbi. Good platform set up there by Menimbi. Kurvoli It's there for Epeli Momo. He's caught. Good defense from Junior Japan. Just restricting the space there for Momo. Some Samu Vondre on it goes for Salawa. Once again, Fiji Warriors through Tuni. Change uh, direction. Uh, this is Nasaroa. Battle for the ball at the breakdown. It's there once again for Samu Samu Vondra to Momo. He's got support on the outside. Doesn't need it. Still going Momo and he'll dive over. The Fiji Warriors get the first say in this match. Epeli Momo in for the try. has certainly been the man to watch. Epeli Momo has been impressive in this tournament. They've moved him into the centers for this game. And he was just given a bit of space here. Look at him go. Wrong foot to the uh, defense. Fends off one and then dives over. Brilliant try from Epeli Momo. And the home side in the lead here by five. Kurvoli for the conversion attempt. 
He raises the flags. Simeone Kuruvoli. The conversion is good. The Fiji Warriors lead by seven. Again, just seeing space there. Momo is very dangerous. And with the ball, there was no stopping him. Too strong. Epeli Momo over for the Warriors. First try. The conversion was good. From Kuruvoli. The Warriors lead by seven. By Laird with a restart. He can do all things by Laird. Such a talented player as Kuruvoli spots a gap once again. He's brought down by Haruto Kida. Ball is out. The referee said it was okay. The Japanese bench very happy. An opportunity here for them. Kurvoli just sliced through the defense, saw a little bit of a gap and just really took it, but the ball was out there. And Fujiwara did well to pounce on that ball, and so they get a penalty opportunity here, Junior Japan. It's uh, Rintaro Maruyama. Chance to close the gap here for Junior Japan. Mariyama steps forward and raises the flags. Great reply here from Junior Japan, Maruyama. Three points here for Junior Japan. It's 7 3. A successful penalty to Rintaro Maruyama. As we welcome in former flying Fijian Sale Sorovaki. It's been a great start to this uh, final. No, that's right. I said that you know, the Fijian Warriors starting off very, very strongly. You know, and now, as we mentioned, the sun is out here at the ANZ Stadium, but probably still very slippery and wet underneath here at the stadium. Junior Japan, Vailia trying to get that offload, but they'll come back. Initial knock on from Fiji. They've gone seven minutes, just four points separating these two teams. That's Marika Vulorel, number 11, the left wing, almost caught that ball on the fly. Just losing concentration right at the end there. Front row of Melituni, Lino Vashina in the M27 Asaro. Now these players have come through the uh, under 18 dance competition. And are taking the almost the next step up. Fujiwara will feed into the scrum. Fuji in Japan. He clears it out to Maruyama. Good opportunity here for Junior Japan. Haruto Kida. Again, good defense there from uh, some, some who've wondered, but uh, Junior Japan. A control possession at the moment. Maruyama with a kick downtown. The chase is on. Osea Wanga is there for the Fiji Warriors. Takes his time. And then the ball ricochets off um, one of the Junior Japan players and into touch. Looks Mariama. like Lee. No, that's no. Uh, Junta Hamano. Junta Hamano, 13 for uh, Japan on your screen. Former Rotoru Boys High School student. Now playing for his native Japan. Jose Waga tried to put a low projectile on that kick and just hitting Junta. Vasunandi with the throw into the line and again, Mira Mira. He's been so safe for them. On that occasion, though, it was um, Nasila Sila. It's here for Junior Japan. Sagara, captain the team midweek. It's back here for Maruyama as they quickly get that ball away to Kawase. He's caught, though, in position. 
Junior Japan with momentum. That's a moment. Getting closer to that 22. Defense. Coming across from the Fiji Warriors as um, a Junior Japan put in a kick behind. Let's just have another row. Probably just went a bit too high. But Warriors having their day busy with his Japanese team. Mariyama just kicks it out into touch and it's a perfect opportunity here for Junior Japan. They'll get a throw into the lineup. You know how good they are with the rolling mall. Well, we know that the Japanese are very strong in the forwards. Just not uh, connecting with that lineup on that occasion. Opportunity lost there for Junior Japan with that throw from Matsuoka. With the line out, they just couldn't quite control that ball. That's Kenta Matsuoka, as you mentioned. You know, again, a defensive scrum here for the Warriors. You know, the exit strategy here, straight to uh, the kicker, Samu Samu Bonre. Oh, to kick up. Sally, we've seen uh, in this tournament as well that uh, Junior Japan have been very strong at the scrum. Won a couple of penalties from it. It's going to be interesting how they square off here. Yes, we welcome our viewers from Fiji and abroad. If you're watching from Sydney. I'm told he saw Nasila Sila's family in Sydney are also watching in. So defensive. The scrum just taking its time to settle. It's put in now by Kurvoli. Big shove from the Japanese team. They get a penalty in the end. Well, we talked well. about that, Damsale. Yes, they were very disappointed to lose that line out uh, earlier on, the Japanese. And they got it back by having that shunt in that forward and that scrum. So now the Fijian 8 will prepare for this scrum. Let's see what's going to happen there. We see the you cannot afford to lose, to let your guard down in at any time in this game. Huge effort there from Junior Japan, showing their strength up front as they get the feet into this line out in this uh, scrum, rather. Fujiwara. We've gone up about um, less than um, 13 minutes in this um, first half in Junior Japan in pole position here to strike be very strong in the scrum so we'll pack down once again here Fujiwara will feed into the scrum for Junior Japan these two teams clearly the best two in this competition a big forward push there from the Japanese Advantage given, that's at the back. Fujiwara. The comeback. Again, very strong junior Japan. It certainly has been their strength that they've shown throughout this tournament, um, Sale. Oh, that's right. Uh, I see that, you know, this junior Japanese team, very, very disciplined. There we see the number six earlier on. The first two games played number eight. You know, that's uh, Palatoa Vailea scored five tries in that last game. He's been looking to better that, but all across the board, uh, you know, thought the Japanese team just very uh, coordinated, you know, the forwards and the backs. Micro skills, you know, very, very good. And they'll try and rattle this uh, Fijian Warriors forwards. 
Fujiwara leads into the scrum once again. Sagara just controlling it at the back. Picks it up and again. Well, there's some warning coming here. The next probably be a penalty try. He's talking to his uh, tight head prop, Nasaroa and Lino, the hooker. Okay. At this stage, I think these front rowers would be feeling mm -hmm. the, the power of this Japanese scrum. And those were the two of the key changes made to the Junior Japan lineup. In fact, the changes for the props, Kamimori and Kobayashi. changes to their starting lineup um, this week for the finals and um, it's uh, certainly paid off here for them just showing the strength up front as um, Fujiwara feeds into this scrum once again look at them go Junior Japan Sagara Fujiwara picks it up he's caught by um, Kurvoli goes backwards though under pressure by Lea trying to muscle his way forward but three Fiji Warriors players close in on him well, he's gonna go back he's gonna go back for the penalty Fujiwara was just caught there he got also close to the line. So we'll go back for the scrum here. It's Junior Japan. Trail the Fiji Warriors by four. Got about 15 minutes here in this first half. The Fiji Warriors having lots of trouble trying to contain this very That's strong. Yeah. That's a better scrum from the Warriors. Picked up Fuji Warren. Haruto Kida is in the corner. Japan. Quick lightning passes there, and Haruto Kida at the end of it. Well, that's what happens when you totally focus. You know, you put up a good scrum. Everybody's focused on the scrum, but little Shinobu Fujiwara realized that there's just only Chuta Wanigolo left on that left wing. And then Haruto Kida scoring Japan's first try in this match. Great try there from Haruto Kida. Here's Junior Japan. A slender lead here. It's 8 7 in their favor with the kick to come from Maruyama. Mariyama just misses the uh, conversion there, but Junior Japan, they take the lead in this final of the World Rugby Pacific Challenge. The lead of Fiji Warriors, 8-7. A great try for Haruto Kida in the corner for Junior Japan. Well, certainly them a lot of confidence at Junior Japan. Some of some of Bondre sent it along with the restart as Vailea charges back 
The Fiji Warriors has been so strong for Junior Japan. Again, quickly to the short side they go. The pass back on the inside is good from Maruyama. Out wide it goes. Junior Japan just finding holes in this Fiji Warriors uh, defense. It's there for Fujiwara. Vailea. Caught by Momo. It's the offload here. This is good play. Haruto Kida again along the edge. Fujiwara darting his way through. And a kick through from Maruyama. It's well read there by Eteli Momo, but they'll come back. Penalty here for Junior Japan. They've certainly picked up the pace, the visitors, causing problems for the Fiji Warriors' defense. As Maruyama clears it out into touch. Again, great position here for the Junior Japan side. Haruto Kida has been so lethal on the edge. And this is where the penalty came. Chuta and supporting his body weight there coming in over the top Junior Japan they get this rolling more rumbling forward it's um, controlled at the back there by Matsuoka impressive work from uh, the visitors as they inch their way closer to the Fiji Warriors try line change of direction Still controlling Matsuoka, dives over, just short. It's still there for Junior Japan, and over they go. This time, Koike. Penalty again to Japan. I think Jordan Way, the referee, is probably just tempted to go into his pockets but let's hope he doesn't go there but Japan will opt for a three-pointer there you see very low body position he got over the line he just knocked that ball on while trying to to score that try it's a big number five that's Ryusei Koike but Maruama Maruyama Rintaro will step up to the mark here to add to try and add three points to the Japanese team. We've seen Junior Japan really dominate the forward clashes here, Sale, early in this match. So Maruyama Raises the flag, second successful penalty for Ritaro Maruyama. As Junior Japan increase their lead here. It's 11-7. Um, it's certainly been a very strong display from the Junior Japan forwards. Oh, that's right. You know, they, they're taking uh, any opportunities that come their way, you know, and... Uh, they're working very hard there. You see Halato Vaila. Top point scorer in this competition. Again to the edge they go. Oh, lost in yeah, contact good. there. Mira Mira picks it up here for the Fiji Warriors. It's there for them with an opportunity through the gap. Oh, just a pass. came off the Japanese hand but it was an earlier knock on by the Japanese that Jordan Wei the referee has seen had he played this on you know the Warriors could have been very close to scoring a try because they came off a Japanese hand but the referee is a sole judge of the match and whatever he says goes. 
Semi Kuruvoli, number nine for the Fijian Warriors team. And number eight is the Chosateki Titumba, product of Vuvu College, still 19 years of age. And the seven you mentioned, Kitione Salah, product of Ratunavula College. Chris Minimbi of Maris Brothers and Vilive uh, Isona Sila Sila of Lelim Memorial. So we'll pack down here for the scrum with Kuruvoli. Tuitumba. Under pressure there, Kuruvoli from his opposite, Fujiwara. The Fiji Warriors have position at the moment. Just clearing it from the base. Chris Menimbi there. It's there for Samusamu Vondra. Huge hit on Savo from the uh, Junior Japan forwards. He felt that one. Kuruvoli. Sila Sila, good carry from him to the short side. There goes Savo, links up with Tuitumba, busts his way through, and it's there for the Fiji Warriors. Kuruvoli to Samsam of Wonder Menimbi on the inside. Not rolling away. There's Kenta Kobayashi. Uh, sorry, that's Ogi Anmoto, the man with the red headgear, not rolling away in the tackle. Fijian War is trying to do the inside pass to stop the drift defense by Junior Japan. I've gone 24 minutes in this first half. Is Kuruvoli clears it out into touch. It's 11 7 at the moment. Then you see Chris Minimbi back to 7 Nasaroa. Japanese bench. Throw into the line out again, secured there by a junior Japan. They've got a very quick back line. Taking on that line of defense was um, Lee, their captain. It's set up here once again for them. Kawase still going. He's lost the ball though. Picked up there by Nasila Sila. It's there for some some of water. He's got support in Osea Wanga. Steps back on the inside. Wanga still going. Very strong man. Difficult to bring him down. Picked up there by Momo. He continues the momentum here for the Fiji Warriors. Chuta. Good defense there from uh, Judah Japan to deny him. It's there for Kurivoli. Tuni. Again, pick and drive here. Salawa very close to the line. Waiting for it, Kurvoli. Masaro just left it behind. Placed back there for the Fiji Warriors as they regroup. And Kurvoli takes the gap. Gets the ball out, but it's kicked through from Junior Japan. They're coming up quickly in defense. Chuta regroups. Good tussle for Careful the ball. It's there once again for Osea Wanga. He's caught though. Good defense from Junior Japan. Momo once again. Close to the line he goes. It's there for the Fiji Warriors. Plenty of numbers on the inside. Tuni leads the charge for the Fiji Warriors. Advantage played by the referee. Kurvoli goes. Again, what will they go for? They can go for a line out or scrum. Probably safer to go for the line out. Some strong runs there from Chuta Wanigolo and Peli Momo and Osea Wanga. Just not getting there yet. Decided to take a quick tap. Kuruvoli taps it. 
Tumba took it in there for Fiji. Tony goes himself, reaches over, and referee. Ball comes loose though. Kameli Tuni almost there. Well, Meli Tuni probably he got over the line, just did not have the ball with him in the end. Okay. So he seems like to have scored the try there. You see, just getting between those two defenders. Chris Minibi thought he scored the try. But no, says the referee. So we'll pack down for a scrum here. Melituni almost over there for the Fiji Warriors. Just short in the end. In fact, he lost the ball. In fact, he lost the ball. And Japan will breathe a sigh of relief. They definitely defended their line well. Junior Japan scrambled in defense. Fujiwara. Mistake there from the Fiji Warriors. And it's tapped quickly. It's Junior Japan, they kick it right out into touch. That's a huge kick. Risuke Kawasi. That's number 11, Haruto Kida. Kido, of course, scored the opening try for Junior Japan. And we have line out throw here for the Fiji Warriors, who trail by four. Wasui Nandi is um, there for the Fiji Warriors. Osei Wang got a difficult ball to handle. More, more on the outside. He's caught, though. Some, some have wondered. He's turning very late there as he got tackled. Slow ball there for Osiawanga. It's Mira Mira. It's there for Kitty Salawa. Good work from uh, Got about ten minutes to go before the break. An opportunity here for the Fiji Warriors. Nasila Sila. That ball for Salawa. Just lost in the process. Yeah, just uh, Japan hands getting in the way there of the offloads of the Fijian Warriors. Eleven seven, the lead here for Junior Japan. Finals of the World Rugby Pacific Challenge. Controlled at the back there by Sagara. Fujiwara clears it out. Lee, oh, that was high on Lee from Chuta. Certainly, oh, it was Momo, in fact. Momo, unfortunate. Yeah, it was a reaction thing from Epeli Momo. He soon regretted that move, but. It's too late. He has to spend the next 10 minutes in the bin. How this will play out on this game remains to be seen. Mariama from halfway sends it out into touch here and clears it nicely. Again, good field position for Junior Japan. Just a step back on the inside and Momo went high. 
So only 14 players on the field here for the Fiji Warriors. It's a bit messy from the lineout. It's uh, there for Kurvoli. Tries to step around the um, J Japanese uh, defense. Chuta clears it to some some of Wondre. In fact, that was Osea. Put a big boot to it. Haruto Kida keeps it in play. It's up there for Kawase. He's caught though. By Mira Mira. Junior Japan. Maruyama with a cross kick pass. Beats him into touch though. Junior Japan will be disappointed with that. Rintaro Maruyama. Got about less than seven minutes to go before the break. Fiji Warriors trailing Junior Japan. Masunandi into the line out it goes. Menimbi secured it well from the line out there. It's here for Samusamu Vondre. Osea Wanga, he's caught though. Great defense from Hamano. And Junior Japan pounds onto the ball very quickly. Impressive work from Junior Japan. Lost the ball though, picked up here by Vularewa. It's there for Chuta. And a high shot as well from Junior Japan. support from the people that are here at the stands. You know, two hours ago we had rain, we had lightning, we had thunder. But the surface now, the sky has cleared for this final match of this 2020 Pacific Rugby Challenge. Now this week today you see Osea Wanga just meeting the Samoan defense head on. Junta Hamano was right there. But just losing that ball. Warriors need to tighten up on the defense. That's Lino Vasinandi, another product of Maris Brothers. Vasinandi to the back it goes, but Japan, they have it. Maruyama on the inside. They've got an overlap on the edge here. Kawase. Under pressure though, Osea Wanga picks it up, tried to keep it in play and just couldn't hang on to the, but they'll come back for the initial knock on. It's yes, just sort of, it's getting a bit loose, players just, you know, trying to force offloads which are not uh, connecting. And there you see Osea Wanga would have done better to come in, you know, recycle that ball and, and go again. Sometimes the, the problem with, uh, with some teams is that they try and score from first phase. You know, they realize that they can build pressure, maintain pressure, you know, build some continuity and build some, put some phases together before they can cross the opposition's line. Uh, the Japanese bench waiting for their turn. Kurvoli. Again, huge scrum is to Tumba. Straight to Savo. It goes. Lost ball there. The scrambling back the Fiji Warriors. Good pressure here from Junior Japan. Chuta goes himself. He's got support on the inside. Chuta running away from everyone. He had support on the inside from some sort of one day. Still going. The pass not quite there for Osea Wanga. Chuta might have done well to have just released that pass on the inside for some of Wondre. His captain was there in support. Well, it did not 
there you see Chuta picking that ball up from the ruck. You know, he did very well. He found some space. He just he's probably slipped over when he tried to, to run around and then he forced it offload here to Osiawanga, which went forward and straight into touch. Unlucky. Once Walker this time, well secured again there from the line out. Kitsisalao well, came right through that line out. Supposed to be back within the 10 meter mark because it's a clean take. So offside there, Salawa. About um, three minutes to go before the break. And Junior Japan hanging on to the lead here. Maruyama looks very relaxed. Yeah, Junior Japan fly half. Tries to clear it into touch and he does well. Yeah, Maruyama very instrumental in the last two games and here slowly bringing his presence into this game. You know, putting Japan into good field position before they start to launch attack from lineouts and scrums. There you see Kenta Matsuoka, the mobile hooker forwards Junior Japan. Matsuoka throws it short. It's um, there for Fujiwara. Bit loose. Maruyama gets it away uh, to Haruto Kida, who links up with Kawase. Coming back on the inside is uh, Yuchiro Wada. Just lost the ball there. Picked up by Osea Wanga. Gets the offload. This is good play from uh, the Fiji Warriors. Vasui Nandi. Took it in there for them. Cleared out. Melituni, Menindi, Nasaroa. Ball is loose. Japan onto it quickly. And just uh, slowing things down. Junior Japan try to get the kick in. Nasaroa, number three for Fiji, should have probably let the ball go. Instead, he went back in. Forced that offload, but again, no learning experience from these players. So you see, good hit there by Haruto Kida, just losing that ball. And there you see Wasinani just trying to get some momentum going for the Fijian Warriors. And still again, Melituni off the back door to Chris Minimbi. There you see. Have the big lanky figure of Mira Mira outside him. So seconds away from the break here. Junior Japan still in the lead. Fijian War is getting penalized with the early hit in the scrum. And opting for yet another scrum here. I mean, very strong this department. They lead by four here. Junior Japan, finals of the World Rugby Pacific Challenge. Shinobu Fujiwara. Feed into the scrum for Junior Japan. Having a chat there to Nasaroa and Kami Mori. And more more is back. So Fiji Warriors back to the full complement here. Seconds remaining for the break. We're right on the 40 minute mark for the injury time. The next break will be half time. And looking back on this first 40 minutes, Asinato 
don't think the Japanese will stop it either. You know, they'll probably perfect all the the plays in the second half. There's a yellow card there. There's just have a nice roll. It's a yellow card again. Second one here for the Fiji Warriors. They reduced to, uh, to 14 once again with uh, Nasaroa sent off. It's a very stupid mistake by Nasaroa. Just looking at the referee signal, must have thrown a punch. Then it probably be the last play. We'll have Junior Japan Fujiwara will step up to the mark now Asinati to try and add three points before they go for the break. This has had two successful penalties already, Rintaro Maruyama. As they lead in this match, 11-7. This is well within his range. Mariyama with an opportunity to extend the lead here for Junior Japan. Mariyama strikes it well and he raises the flags. Well done, Junior Japan. Increase the lead here. It's 14 7. It's also half time. And uh, three successful penalties for Mariyama and try for Haruto Kida. The Fiji Warriors, of course, got a try for Epeli Momo that was um, converted by Kuruboli. It's half time here. Junior Japan lead uh, the Fiji Warriors 14 7.
FZ Stadium here in uh, Suva, Fiji for the finals of the 2020 World Rugby Pacific uh, Challenge. Plenty of support in the stands here for the home uh, team who are, of course, trailing in the match. Junior Japan uh, lead 14-7 at the break, and it's good to see uh, Cyril Mbombo in am amongst uh, the crowd here at the ANZ uh, Stadium, the former Flying Fijian, as we look back at uh, the highlights uh, from the uh, first half, and Fiji got an excellent opportunity early in the match, and Momo, who's been impressive for them, moved to centers for this match, and he was over for the Fiji Warriors' uh, first try, but that was set up nicely. It was very strong, difficult to bring down, and uh, Momo in for, uh, of course, the Fiji Warriors uh, try that was converted by uh, Kuruvoli. And then Junior Japan struck back early with, uh, of course, Haruto Kida Fujiwara creating that opportunity for him out wide, and Kida was in for Junior Japan's reply. There was plenty of opportunities for Junior Japan just finding holes in this uh, Fiji Warriors defense. They've been very strong up uh, front, of course. The scrum has been excellent in this finals, and uh, they were just denied on that occasion for what would have been a great try for them for Koike. There was an opportunity on the flanks as uh, Osea Wanga led the charge for the Fiji Warriors, and uh, Momo, of course, in support, but um, unfortunately, just that last dive over for the Fiji Warriors. They just lost the ball in the process. And uh, Junior Japan, of course, um, capitalizing through the boot of uh, Rintaro Maruyama, who's, uh, who had um, three successful penalties, of course, in that uh, first half. Uh, Fiji, of course, uh, ill-discipline really let them uh, down. There was a break for Chuta Wainingolo. He had support from the captain, um, some, some of Wondre. But uh, unfortunately, that last pass just forced and went out into touch. But um, of course, uh, the three penalties for Maruyama as well as a try for Haruto Kida um, sees uh, Japan in the lead here over the Fiji Warriors with that uh, try to Epeli Momo and was converted by Kuruvoli. So halftime here, Junior Japan lead uh, Fiji Warriors 14-7.
Bola Vinaka Kanichiwa. Welcome back to the ANZ uh, Stadium, the grand finale, of course, of the 2020 World Rugby Pacific Challenge. It's the visitors, Junior Japan, that lead the Fiji Warriors uh, 14 points to seven, thanks to three great penalties from the boot of Rintaro Maruyama, a try for Haruto Kida. The Fiji Warriors, of course, a long try for Epeli Momo that was um, successfully converted by uh, Kuruvoli. And so we start the second half here with Junior Japan in the lead over the Fiji Warriors, 14 points uh, to 7. It's been a great start for Junior Japan. Very strong up front, of course. They've uh, really had um, front foot in those um, scrum clashes. And we saw them... Um, get a couple of penalties. Of course, the home side will have to look at discipline. If have um, copped two yellow cards in the first half as Chuta gets over the advantage line early here for the Fiji Warriors. And Minimbi with support out wide. The Fiji Warriors wanting to start this um, second half well. It's cleared into the hands of Samu Samu Vondre. Mira Mira was also there towards the short side. There goes Savo. Tuitumba is there. Gain some good ground for them. Kurvoli clears it to Minimbi. Takes on the Japanese defense and offloads. This is brilliant from the Fiji Warriors. Here in the second half, Nasila Sila. Good carry from the young man. Just unfortunately did not release that. Yeah, just Melituni. Just he was held back when he tried to come in for the early cleanup, but the Sila Sila penalty to Japan. They get back into Fijian territory. Junior Japan certainly building pressure like we've seen them do in the, the first half. And again, clearing it into touch right on the 22. They get a throw into the lineout. It's well secured once again. And off they go. This is good play from Junior Japan. Fujiwara has got plenty of players running onto that ball. Fujiwara once again as they pick up the pace. Maruyama and straight through goes Lee. is just caught though. Smashed down to the ground there by Nasila Sila. Sagara also caught there. It's there, Fujiwara, a little chip kick through. Not rolling away. I think that's number one, Melituni, getting penalized. Sala, that's certainly been a concern for the Fiji Warriors. Two yellow cards in that first half. Oh, that's right. You know, the uh, Nasaroa did not have to do what he did. So now they still minus one. And good decoy there from the Japanese, but a good defense here, good tackle here by Kiti Salawa. No, that's Nasila Sila, sorry. And then Tui Tumba came in and thwarted that move by the Japanese. As you can see there, Melituni just lying. They are not moving. And they'll go for the scrum here, you reckon, Nasina? Absolutely, they've certainly been strong in that department. Well, someone will have to come off here, Emmanuel Nadiva. Uh, somebody will have to come off. Does not necessarily have to be a forward, can be just anyone. But they've decided to put out Kichi Salawa. And this looks like, uh, yeah, Nadiva comes on. There are only 14 players on the field with Nasaroa still serving. His time out with the yellow card. Well, I think they were under a lot of pressure with eight men. Imagine now with seven. Absolutely. Well, we shall wait and see Asinati. Mm. So 
So under pressure in the scrum, the Fiji Warriors, Junior Japan, an opportunity to pounce early here in the second half. They're in the lead by seven. Sagara just controlling things, but the ball came out and onto it was um, Kurvoli. A penalty, though. Fujiwara Sagara close to the line. We come back once again. There's Fijian scrum. They need to get that ball out very quickly to the back to give them some breathing space. But they'll need to withhold this Japanese scrum first. So pressure situation here for the Fiji Warriors. Oh, a bit of forward pass there for to Masahiko Sagara from Fujiwara. So they get to put into the squad, the Fiji Warriors. Kurvoli. Here comes the huge shove. It's there for Kurvoli. He gets a hand to it and he's away. Kurvoli so sharp. He's got his captain behind him. He's still going. There's some some of wonder. The chase is on. Maruyama trying to get across there in defense. But some of some of wonder will dive over. And that's the reply that the Fiji Warriors needed. Uh. Asinate, they needed that try right now and it, you know they did it in front of the in front of their try and with the scrum going backwards you know we said that with minus uh, minus their prop you know the, the, the scrum was under pressure and they needed a big play and, and that was it you know Kurvoli picked that ball up from the base there you see they were under the pump there the Fijian scrum Johnny Twituba came in and there you go, see Simi Kurvoli just picked that ball up with those Japanese defenders. Ran around the fullback and there you see right on halfway, Samu Samu Bondi picked that ball up from Kurvoli. And the try line he went. And Fiji second try by Samu Samu Bondi Tindraki. Under immense pressure, Kurvoli is so sharp around the base and he picked that ball up and like a good captain who's in support some some of Andre over to the corner for Fiji second try it's 14 12 this conversion will be crucial for the Fiji Warriors and he just hits the post so it remains Junior Japan 14. The Fiji Warriors have closed the gap by two. That was a good attempt at the conversion by the by Kurvoli, the man who started that move. And those were the two guys involved in that try. Kurvoli started it, and this man on your screen, the captain of his Fijian Warriors, finished it. You know, just one pass, and all it took for the Fijian, uh, Fijian Warriors to score their second try. 14 12 it is in the second half. And the Fiji Warriors, of course, back to full complement with Nasaroa back onto the field of play. And they were able to score with only 14 men as uh, Maruyama sends it up high. Chuta secured it well there for the Fiji Warriors. Kurvoli. Savo to get in there for the Fiji Warriors. It's there for the Japanese. <laughs> he ran by himself. Savo did not have his support with him. And I think there was the replacement hooker. Yusaku Kihara was strong over that ball. Now we give the, the Fijian Warriors, give Japan another opportunity. Mariam again just dictating play for the junior Japan side he sends it out into touch an opportunity here for them on seven minutes in the second half 
They'll get the throw into the line out here, Junior Japan, Matsuoka. They throw it to the back and it's well secured there by uh, Yanamoto. And immediately his forwards form around him as they get this rolling more moving forward. Advantage. Fijians collapsing that more. Still there for Junior Japan. Fujiwara clears it out. Lee out wide for Haruto Kida. Yes, it's given. Second try for Kida. Well, Haruto Kida, he scored the first try in the first half. And here he is again scoring the first try in the second half. Haruto Kida, the left wing. You know, he is the money man. He's at the right spot at the right time. There you see advantage given to the Japanese for Fiji Warriors collapsing that more. And then they saw the space already. It was just a matter of getting that ball out wide through the hands. There you see Haruto, Haruto Kida scoring Japan's third try this afternoon. That takes him away to 19 points to 12. With a kick to come. Mariyama. Three successful penalties in that first half. It's a difficult attempt for him here, right from the close to the sideline. He steps up and strikes it. Like this. Oh, he's raised the flag. That is a great kick. That is a great kick. See a Nasa and Garnival. Two very strong games. Not needed this week. But that's your sky, uh, try scorer, Haruto Kida. Extend the lead once again here, Junior Japan. It's 21 12. Some, some have wondered with the restart. The chase is on. And back into the hands of Junior Japan. Fujiwara, he's been so sharp for them at halfback. Pass on the inside is good. Good play here from Junior Japan. Those short passes really creating problems for the Fiji Warriors defense and straight into the hands of uh, Samu Samu Wonder. He's got the support outside. Momo just brought down. It's there for Chuta. Kurvoli. Towards the inside they go. Good ball there for Miramira again. Just a hand to it as the Fiji Warriors. They try to get it out wide quickly for Vularewa. He's caught. Good defense from Juni Japan. Osewanga. There it is for Salawa. Tall, lanky Fiji Warriors. Flanker. Kurvoli. It's there for Samu Samu Vondre. Nasila Sila. Took the short pass on the inside. Samu Samu Vondre goes himself. Oh, he's lost the ball. Japan. Keen to play. Well, unlucky, Samu Samu Vondre. He had that ball while falling in the tackle. Just could not control it. And the Japanese scrum. Just two meters away from them, five meter mark. Now these players would be feeling the humidity on the field. As in, you know, it's. Uh, so they've had a bit of everything today. Okay. Yeah. Of course, a crucial second half here for both teams with the title on the line here. Japan, of course, in the lead, 21-12. Must be a lot going through the minds of the Fiji Warriors that outside as they're trying to chase this game. Coming in to watch this game. A 
Marcellin de Riua y uh, Luis Artisolo. As we wait for this scrum to go down 7 meters from the Japanese train line, it is the feed into the scrum. So 21 12 in favor of Junior Japan. The title on the line here in 2020 for the World Rugby Pacific Challenge. Back down for the scrum here. Fujiwara has been so good for this uh, Junior Japan team at halfback. Fine. Just taking his time out there. We're in the lead at the moment. Too much movement. Okay. We must hold still. Okay. Okay. Time ticking away as the two teams. Back down for the scrum here. It's probably the longest time this scrum <laughs> yeah. has take to put down. So Fujiwara, again it's controlled at the back there by Sagara. It's there for Fujiwara, clears it to Mariyama. Over the top, a bit of a difficult ball to handle, but um, Junior Japan, they've done well. Support is good as well here for Junior Japan. Huge shot coming through. Replacement player for the uh, Fiji Warriors has come onto the field of uh, play here. That's Sito Yambaki. That's Junior Japan. It's out on the field. Fiji Warriors have to watch out. Fujiwara was hit quite late, uh, Mar uh, Maruyama was hit quite late there, he's looking to the referee, you can tell the war is probably just feeling a little bit frustrated, he's throwing ev everything at this Japanese outfit. You know, Vasuinandi steps up for the throw into the line out, it's well secured there. To some some of wonder it goes Savo to Itumba. It's there for Osia Wanga. Nice offload out wide, but Bulare was lost it and Junior Japan. Fujiwara quickly onto it as they try to get that ball out wide quickly from Lee. Oh, it's gone out into touch. We'll go back to the early knock-on by the Warriors. I think that was it was number 11, Marika Bularewa. Maybe the referee should have called it early as well. There was a knock-on by the Japanese, which he probably did not pick up. But we'll come back all the way to the other side of the field. There was no gain in territory there, so they have to come back to the first knock-on. The scrum Fujiwara feed into the scrum for J Junior Japan. They've controlled it nicely at the back, been very strong. The scrum Junior Japan, look at them just walking through, and Fujiwara pairs it away from Maruyama, who kicks it straight down to Chuta. Japanese scrum completely dismantling this Fijian warrior scrum led by Melituni, Lino Vashinani and Tsuseva Nasaroa. Mariyama has been so has been key for this junior Japan side at fly half. Just look for touch here. 
get them into good field position. He's done that. Really dictating play this afternoon. Maruyama, just see the um, Junior Japan forwards so strong in that scrum. Tanguchi is on the field of play here for Junior Japan. And defense from Mira Mira, but then Fujiwara, they change the direction of attack. Here's an opportunity up well. Oh, just out into touch. Couldn't quite connect with that pass. Good men on the screen. I think this is the fullback, Ryosuke Kawase. Chimed in very well into that back line. Found a bit of space. Just could not connect that pass to his right wing. Ichiro Wada. A very untidy ball there for the Fijian Warriors. It's there for Momo. Thought he should have done that earlier on. A lot of uh, straight running and in midfield for the Fijian Warriors. Some sort of wandry clears it out into touch. Fiji Warriors were under pressure that time. Fortunately, they were able to clear that ball. The junior Japan retain the pressure here and on this um, Fiji Warriors side. Tanguchi has come on at um, the hooker's berth as Fujiwara once again plenty of runners to run onto it. For the junior Japan team Maruyama out towards the wing. They're caught there though. Good tackle on him by Chuta Onigolo but it's there again for Fujiwara. Maruyama it is, the pass on the inside, Tanguchi certainly made an impact since he's come on quick ball once again want to get back there Junior Japan defense very strong there from the Fiji Warriors and they get rewarded for it, Salih That's right, I think it was uh, Kichi Salawa who well, put in some big hits there probably did he picked that ball up while in the ruck. He was lucky that he had an initial penalty for the, against that number 20. That's Isam Yamakawa. But not rolling away in the tackle. A bit of field position here for the Fijian Warriors. There you see. Big hit on him by Kichisala. He gets up again, makes another hit. And then he picks that ball up. Which he was probably not supposed to have done. But uh, nonetheless... Fijian Warriors have got the line up. Nothing short. Warriors work backwards though. Yeah. They're recovered by Simi Kurvoli. When he really goes into half back. Nice uh, surge through here from the Fiji Warriors. It's up uh, there for Seawanga. Some of Wanda just let it bounce in Junior Japan. We're quick onto it. Great attacking opportunity here for them. Fujiwara, good hands from the um, young halfback. They spotted that through the middle. Caught though. Oh, the Fujiwara is with a turn over here. We've got plenty of numbers on board. Salawa in support here, the Fiji Warriors. They're right in numbers. has seen something here he's coming in yeah. yes. just land on the shoulder okay. yeah. so number 12 back has struck landed yeah. on the shoulder land on okay. the shoulder yeah. recommendation yellow card yellow card ok where was it inside the tent here okay. so number 12 back number 12 number 12 ok Well, big ball here, that's Filimoni Savo. Probably a shoulder charge, that's a yellow card. You see him coming that ball, that's a yellow card.
something that's been an issue today. That's 30 minutes with 14 men. So if they, they need to probably tidy up on that part of their game, the Fijian Warriors. And so they pack down here once again for the squam. I mean, so strong in this area, Junior Japan. setting of our scrums. They would like to see a bit of running and passing. And if we can get this scrum started, we may be able to see some of that. But again, that's Ren Shinwada, number 21 for Japan. Free kick, early hit from the Japanese. Just need to tap and go here. There's Gennaro. Sorry. 
therefore Samsamu Vondre Momo charges at the Junior Japan defense line to get into contact there Kurvoli under pressure at the base picks it up does well they're under pressure the Fiji Warriors Samsamu Vondre there the Japanese making the Fijians work for their ball again the ball comes out loose Penalty to, to the Fijians, the Japanese probably just using their hands in that ruck. The Kurivoli steps up. Clears it into touch here for the Fiji Warriors. Gone about halfway mark in this um, second half. Junior Japan in the lead, 21-12. I'll throw into this line out for the Fiji Warriors. Bit of pressure there. Ball is loose but snapped up by the uh, Fiji Warriors. It's there for Kurvoli. Samsamu Vondre clears it to Momo. Stands in the tackle and then offloads to Chuta. It's there for Osea Wanga. They've got, it, got him wrapped around there. Still with the Fiji Warriors, Samsamu Vondre, Salawa. There it goes up for Nasila Sila. Samsamu Vondre to Chuta. It's here for Militumi. And just couldn't uh, connect the referee playing advantage. Wasimali trying his best to move forward. Just met by this red Japanese defense. The Warriors trying to work their way upfield. Here once again for Samusamu Vondre. Salawa. The ball is out. Ball is out. And Japan onto it quickly. Plenty of numbers stacked to the um, left there. Ball is loose once again. Number 25 for the Warriors is Eparama Silo. There you see Kiji Salao just couldn't free his hands and the ball was available for at least two seconds. There's no half there. Just a bit of breathing space here for both teams. They tend to the Kichi Salawa, I think that's Kichi Salawa on the ground there, number seven for Fijian Warriors. And Japan has been very clinical today, I see nothing on it. They scrummed well, they set up solid platform for their team, for their backs to run off. You know, they've, they've won a fair bit of ball too from, uh, from the Fijian Warriors. But the Fijian Warriors have been, always been dangerous in broken play. You know, they missed all their tries from long range and just could not free up or find those spaces at the moment. You know, with about 10 minutes to go, you know, it's still a long way to go. 21 points to 12. So anything can happen. So Maruyama. You'll look for touch here. He sends it out as uh, Junior Japan build pressure here. And they've certainly had the ability as well, um, Sally, to just change the pace on our attack. But it's a tap back for the Fijians. It's Kuruvoli. Osea Wanga. He's caught, though. Kuruvoli. To the short side they go. 
Good opportunity here for the Fiji Warriors. The ball is loose. Picked up here by Japan. Mariama puts a kick in. It's gone out into touch. Kawase was really onto it quickly. The um, junior Japan fullback. Yeah. Fiji is there. You see number 25. That's a Parama Silo. They could do better if they just probably let that ball go through the hands. The spaces, the fast. Runners are on the outsides and get the ball to them as quickly as they can. Basura Kauta has also come onto the field of play here for the Fiji Warriors. So it will be a throw into the line out here for the home side. They're trailing in this match. It's 21-12. Time ticking over. It looks like Osea Wanga will be subbed off here. And then Japan, Tanguchi leading the charge here for them. Great work from Junior Japan. Yeah, holding on. Number six, William Emir Miller needs to come down. Now he's won his team the penalty. Does not need to do any more after that. Kurovoli clears it into touch here. It's a good you battle at the breakdown there, Salih. That's right. You know, Kiji Salawa and I think number six, Mira Mira, straight onto that ball. And they got the penalty for, for the Warriors. So now they will throw into this line out here for the Fiji Warriors. Again, good battle up high there. It's tapped back for the Fiji Warriors. More and more. Out on the edge, uh, Chuta tried to get the ball inside, but um, was kicked out into touch. Just forcing that pass in, Chuta winning goal. But it went low to the boots of Epeli Momo. Momo was in the clear, just needed to catch that ball, but the pass went to ground instead of his hands. Japan, line out on halfway. Scrappy from the line yeah. out. It's um, well secured there by the Fiji Warriors and um, Salawa. It's there for them. As um, Kurvoli, Samusamu Vondre, takes on the um, Japanese line of defense. Again, Kurvoli just attacking around the fringes there. Samusamu Vondre waiting for it. Just a bit flat at the moment, the Fiji Warriors. Cleared out once again for Samusamu Vondre. Battle there for that ball and the Fiji Warriors, they secure it more and more. Good defense from a junior Japan, just restricting movement for this Fiji Warriors team. Some some of wonder there at the base. It's clear to the back here for Chuta. It's there for Vularewa who finds a gap. Almost lost his footing. The support oh, arrives. Turnover. A turnover to Yusuke Kawase. Kawas is doing done well there for Junior Japan. They kick it downtown. The pressure is on the Fiji Warriors once again. Vasura Kauta. Pressure definitely on the home side as they're trying to find a way through. This um, Japanese wall of defense, they've been brilliant. And uh, Kawase, on that occasion, the junior Japan fullback positioned himself well over the ball. They got the turnover and was kicked downtown into touch. And they get the throw into the line out here. Tanguchi again secured at the front by Sangara. 
as Junior Japan inch their way forward. This is great work from them. Ball comes. It's here for the Fiji Warriors. Plenty of runners. Savoy is back on the field. Momo's lost it in contact. Back paddling there. And then Maruyama kicks it through. It's taken here by the Fiji Warriors. The referee calls them back though. Well, the initial knock-on from the Fiji Warriors. In Japan, they've been brave in defense. And their work at the breakdown has certainly paid dividends for them as the Fiji Warriors, they look dangerous on that occasion, but that ball just coming off more and more in contact. Moriyama has been everywhere in this game. The junior Japan fly half. Tonga A, of course, uh, defeated um, Samoa A in the third and fourth uh, place playoffs earlier on this afternoon, 36 points to 10. So they finished third in this competition. Junior Japan are in the lead in the finals here of the World Rugby Pacific Ch Challenge. It's 21-12 with about um, three minutes to go in this match. More replacements here for the Fiji Warriors. On comes um, Genorio Wakeham. Eparama Silo is also there at the back of the scrum for the Fiji Warriors. It's replaced uh, Tuitumba. Japan. Scrum just going sideways. And just eating up time here with the um, scrum. Clock winding down. The Japanese know that the title is in sight for them here in 2020. Impressive performance from Junior Japan. They saw off um, Samoa A midweek, 76 points to three. So an opportunity here. Lulusinu has come on at halfback. Referee wants it taken from the mark. So he'll clear it out in the touch, Lulu Sinu. It's come on to replace um, Kuruvoli. Murivalu has also replaced Vasunandi here. So throw in to the line out here for the Fiji Warriors. A tap back. <laughs> so we're winding down to close here in the final of the 2020 World Rugby Pacific Challenge. Wonderful conditions overhead at the ANZ um, Stadium. We've seen three wonderful rounds of competition. Of course, the grand finale underway at the moment with just seconds to go. And probably time for one last play here. Junior Japan. Enjoying the lead at the moment as they get the feed into the scrum. All they need to do is um, kick it out into touch. As 
certainly been an impressive performance from this junior Japan side who beat uh, Tonga A in their opening match, 46 points to 10, and then they saw off um, Samoa A midweek, 76 points to 3. They've been so strong in their scrums. Well, the battle at the breakdown, they've certainly gone their way. And of course, the rolling mall has been an impressive feature of their match. And their ability to just um, change the um, pace on attack with those quick passes. We saw a couple of those with Haruto Kida at the end of it. So we'll pack down for the scrum once again here at Junior Japan. Oh, they're already celebrating there. They know they have the title in the bag. All they need to do is uh, clear this one out into touch and take the win here in 2020. Here's um, the cup inside. They kick it out. Oh, there's still time for play here. Junior Japan, Takamoto in the field of play. Tanguchi's done well since he's come on. And again, just controlling the ball at the back there. And that's it. Referee Jordan Way says that is it. And Junior Japan are champions here in 2020. Well, well deserved in the end by this Junior Japan side. Well, they started off the first half well after three great penalties for Maruyama and a try for Haruto Kida. And of course, he got a second try in the second half. And Maruyama, of course, converted that. And Junior Japan, they'll take the win here in 2020. Well deserved in the end, the visitors. Fiji Warriors, of course, they struck early with a try for Epeli Momo. The conversion was good from uh, Kurvoli. And uh, they got a great try from their captain, Samusamu Wonder, in the second half. But it wasn't enough for the Fiji Warriors. Junior Japan are victors here in 2020. They've defeated the Fiji Warriors. 21 points to 12 and they can celebrate they definitely deserve uh, the win here after they beat uh, of course um, Tonga A 46-10 in their opening match they saw off the challenge from Samoa A 76 points to 3 and this junior Japan team have done it here in 2020 they've ended that um, Four year in a row winning streak from the Fiji Warriors by 21 points to 12. And there it is in the scorecard there. Maruyama with three penalties and a conversion. Two tries to Haruto Kida, who was absolutely brilliant out on the wing. The Fiji Warriors, two tries, of course, coming through uh, their center, Momo and Samu Vondre, with that lone conversion from uh, Kurovoli. Now we join Irfan Khan, who is with um, Tundraki Samu Vondre, the Fiji Warriors captain. Well, Tundraki, heartbreaking loss for the Fiji Warriors side. You started off well, but slipped back. What could have gone wrong? Yeah, it was not the result we wanted, but yeah, there was a lot of mistakes in the game. It was a great effort from the boys, but it is what it is. A lot of mistakes were done by the Fiji Warriors uh, players uh, coming into this uh, game, first half and second half, giving a lot of uh, possessions away. Do you think that could have been a factor? Yeah, it was a major factor in our games, losing a lot of uh, balls, a lot of errors in the game. They cost us for the game this, uh, today. All the best for next year. Thank you very much.
Of course, lessons learned here for Tendraki Samawonri and the Fiji Warriors uh, side. Just coming up short in the finals here, but um, credit to Junior Japan, who really had a wealth of position in this uh, match. Of course, they really dominated their forwards, really laid the platform for their win this afternoon, and they really stood up as well in their defence and um, just restricted and, uh, the space for the Fiji Warriors and denied position. And um, they were absolutely pleased with their effort here in 2020. Junior Japan are your champions here in uh, 2020 as we join Irfan Khan and the winning captain. Congratulations. History created by Junior Japan winning the World Rugby Pacific Challenge for the first time. How does it feel? そうですね。えっと、ま、東京の合宿から始まって、本当にワンチーム作ってきて、試合でも自分たちのラグビーできたんで、本当に嬉しく思います。So we started from the team camp in Japan, uh, camp in Japan, and not only a team player, but also as well as the staff. So we creating a one team, and we could play a one rugby team. They could do our own rugby. <laughs> How confident were you coming into the game against Fiji? この so we pray against Tonga and Samoa, we did a good play. So we believe, uh, we believe uh, if we keep playing our rugby, we will win this game. So. Thank you and congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you. And a great win here for Junior Japan. Of course, Vailea right there in the front got uh, five tries in the match midweek. Vailea, he's been uh, absolutely sensational for this team. A one to watch, of course, Seta Naivaluanga got a try in this tournament as well. His father, of course, Seta Reki Tawake, former flying Fijian, has followed his progress um, closely at this tournament. And certainly um, a bright future for this young man in this uh, great uh, junior Japan side. Well, we've seen their progress not only here at the World Rugby Pacific Challenge, but um, of course at the World Cup where they um, reached the quarterfinals and um, just the progress of um, Japanese rugby globally has been impressive. And that um, trophy, of course, going all the way back to Japan and celebrations here for the visitors, just too strong in the end. Their forwards really laid the platform for them. Wonderful um, shots overhead here at um, the ANZ Stadium. As we look back on the results, of course, Tonga A uh, managed to defeat Samoa A 36-10 uh, uh, to finish third, Samoa fourth. And Junior Japan champions here in 2020 have defeated the Fiji Warriors 21 points uh, to 12. And uh, Junior Japan, of course, just too strong for everyone else. Of course, the Prime Minister We'll hand over the uh, trophy to this uh, Junior Japan team. Fantastic effort from this Junior Japan side. Kami Mori, Matsuoka and Kobayashi. There was absolutely outstanding the front row. Prime Minister, Mr. Mbani Marama, the, to hand over the trophy to the champions of the World Rugby Pacific Challenge in 2020. They've ended the winning streak of the home side. It was four years in a row 
But um, not to be here in 2020, Junior Japan have done well, defeated all the teams in their way, and this afternoon just as strong for the Fiji Warriors, 21 points to 12, the supporters in the stands. Very happy with the performance here at the ANZ um, Stadium as Kawase and Vailea, who's been absolutely dominant in this uh, tournament. Of course, the leading try scorer in the tournament. Up onto the stage, congratulations. So Lee, the captain, with the trophy here for Junior Japan, and congratulations. We now welcome the rest of the uh, Junior Japan team up onto the stage. Join the captain and of course our chief guest. What a great tournament it has been for Junior Japan. Just too good in the end. The supporters here in the stands just trying to get the picture perfect shot and the champions of the world rugby pacific challenge in 2020 junior japan lee and the rest of the team celebrate here at the anz stadium in suva fiji a well-deserved win in the end for this uh, Junior Japan side, it was just too strong for the home team in the end, defeating them at 21 points uh, to 12. Congratulations to Junior Japan and of course Fiji runners up with uh, Tonga in third position. They defeated uh, Samoa A 36-10 in the match earlier this afternoon. So that's how it played out here at the 2020 World Rugby Pacific Coast Challenge. It's congratulations to Junior Japan. And, uh, of course, as we look back on the uh, highlights, of course, as we wrap up here from the ANZ Stadium, it's been a pleasure bringing you live coverage of the World Rugby Pacific Challenge 2020 on behalf of the very hard-working Fiji TV crew and, of course, a co-commentator, Thank you very much for joining us and congratulations to Junior Japan.